Good morning everybody and this is your Bitcoin review for today. So a couple of things transpired yesterday and uh, on the 4 hour we do have a break of this flag. So uh, still no signal for anything to the upside and uh, we'll just have a look at some other strategies shortly just to get a bigger picture of this. But uh, for now let's just get to the 4 hour and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can see there is the bottom of the flag pretty well defined we had three touches on there now we've had a solid bar close on it so opened on its high closed on its low that's a very bearish bar at the moment i think the only thing that um, is kind of putting a little bit of doubt to my mind is the fact that we are in this little bit of a range you can see how we stepped out of it came back and we're back in that range so oscillators are grouping back down to the downside so you know typically what you want to do when you see these um, bear flags like this typically you don't want to always jump into them you know people put money into these things to make money not to lose money so you know the shorts are not always scalps for me it's really just forexes where you know shorts and longs are, are equal to either side but instruments where people are looking to make money like the indexes like cryptos you know they typically are looking for opportunity to buy so um, although this is broken you know, it could just be a simple fake out and if you look at what's going on here oscillators are tending to agree with that uh, we can just drop down to the hour as well just to see what happened during yesterday and uh, you can see nothing really much we fell off came into structure and then we've been bouncing around in structure so yeah so until we see a retest of this flag and then a rejection you know this thing is still heading in an upward direction so uh, in other words what we're talking about right now is we're looking for a break of this 33992 area and a retest of it and that would give us a move to the downside now I just want to look at one other temp um, strategy and that's Ichimoku again you can see we've come up onto Kijinson and uh, Kijinson often offers support on the four hour let's get rid of that um, so it often comes out of support on the four hour and then bounces off that so at the moment you know uh, the twist in the cloud indicates uh, bullishness uh, the diversions here on the oscillator you can see low high low low is indicating bullishness and uh, the other thing that you can see as well is you have the crossover of Kijinson and Tikinson and we are sort of staying above it when these two run parallel we are range bound okay so with all of that in mind let's just get back to a very oops sorry let's get back to a clean chart um, we want that one and uh, have a look at this so we do have a bit of a flag however what we also have is a potential channel as well so um, could be a, a bear flag still there's no two ways about that but this is the area I'd be paying attention to at the moment so that's what I'd be waiting for 33 line this is called a 33 line 50 break and retest of that you're looking for some more downside otherwise what you're doing is you're looking to find support here and then that gives you that area up there that you want to break and retest off. So that 35178 break retest of that may just start setting up opportunities along. Okay, new quarter, new month, uh, coming up to the end of the week, but uh, on the monthly, just wait for the data and you should see a fairly interesting scenario because we had a big range bar. Okay, so yeah, so I still was waiting, sit on your hands, wait and see what's going to transpire. But I think personally, you know, it's quite a 50-50 call at the moment. Uh, the flag break, I'm not really convinced of that until I see a retest of it. So I'd like to see a, a deeper break below it, then a retest of it, a little bit more structure, and that would convince me that that was a flag. At the moment, uh, we are just range bound again, waiting for something to transpire. Okay, anyway, that's it for me. Uh, still sitting on hands, uh, and we'll keep monitoring us on a daily basis. Uh, until we see the opportunity to buy. Anyway, hope it helps and uh, we'll get back to you tomorrow. Cheers for now.